I have a beautiful five-year-old daughter. Hello, Abraham. You're beautiful. Um, I have a beautiful five-year-old daughter, and I get the most pointed and wonderful questions from her. And um, there are two of them in particular, and I usually, when I get those that I find are difficult and I want to answer them in a special way, I think of um, Abraham and, and, and a lot of the, the uh, teachings that I've learned through listening to you. And they're, they're about bad guys. And she says, why are there bad guys? And um, will a bad guy get me? And when she asks me why they're bad guys, I, I, I answer it in a way that I feel in alignment, which is they are, they are people that have forgotten that God loves them or source loves them. I use the word God for her because I think that works for her. But when she says, are they going to get me? I said, no, sweet angel. They're, you're not, you don't put your attention on them. They're not putting their attention on you. That's in short what I tell her. But I feel some something, well, you get it. We do. Every, everyone does. And here's the most important thing that we want to say to you about this really, really, really good, well thought out question. How long have you all been listening to us? A while. And how often does the first thing we tell you make perfect sense? Not that often. In other words, Esther has literally fashioned a whole new language in order to help you lay some new pipes. In order to help you to understand things in a way that your previous life experience was not going to afford. And so the idea of needing the perfect answer in the moment mm -hmm. of a question give yourself a break there and think to yourself this is such a good question and I and Abraham and the universe are going to help this sweet angel girl know the answer mm -hmm. to this and isn't it lovely that she's asking so early and that she will have such opportunity to find vibrational alignment with her well-being in other words, soothe yourself with this. Mm -hmm. Because what we want to teach her today is a conversation that a month ago we weren't even having. In other words, that's how this message keeps evolving. Today we're talking about these spinning discs, which mm -hmm. gives us the perfect opportunity to say to her, well, you know, honey, there are people out there that are giving their attention to all kinds of things. And what they think about and how they feel sort of equals what's coming around them and so I'm practicing you say to her I'm practicing thinking about things that feel really good and I notice that the more I think about them the more things like that come and then leave it at that and watch for opportunities Esther's sister Jeannie was in the car with her yesterday and she was talking about her grandson and the fun that they've been having he's collecting quarters and he's looking for all of the states and he was down to only missing Guam and Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands and Michigan those were the only coins that were missing in his collection and Esther loved hearing the conversation and the fun that Jeannie has had with this sweet boy the way they've been evolving this process together and having fun together just the whole subject was so sweet. Esther loved hearing about it. And then Jeannie is in Esther's house. And she needs a pencil. And Esther says, there's one in the pencil cup on my desk. So Jeannie walks in to Esther's office, which is, there's, it's, it's tidy. Everything's in place. She finds the pencil. And on her way out, she notices a little beautiful dish that Esther dumps coins from her purse and Jenny stopped to admire the beautiful dish peeked in and <laughs> noticed a quarter right on top and thought to herself wouldn't it be something if it was Michigan <laughs> it was Michigan what are the odds of that that's a teaching moment isn't it 
In other words, Esther and Jeannie talked about that quarter for two hours. <laughs> about the magic of the universe. About how it's things like that that make them know for sure that things are always working out for them, that they're being orchestrated, that they're being guided, that there was a setup, that there was a vibrational setup for it, you see. There are constant setups. There are constant opportunities for you to see a scenario that's unfolded and use it as information and as affirmation and as clarification about the things that you have come to know so much because words do not teach. It's life experience that teaches. And oh, are you ever going to have fun with all of the opportunities that are surrounding you and your sweet little angel in helping her to know for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure the well-being of her beingness, you say. It just can't be any other way. Knowing what you know and knowing what she knows. Anything else is illogical. This is a really good time for a segment of refreshment. Thank you. Thank you.